All right, well, that pretty much wraps it up for the path. It's pretty solid. Some wobble in a couple of these, uh, these but they'll settle in as, uh, as it rains on them and, and all that good stuff. Um, but I think it turned out really good. So the idea was to create a path for essentially free and make it be kind of gardeny or whatever. Um, we used patio stones and stuff like that in the, in the past, and that's fine. But uh, the whole idea here is we want to use things that we have. You know, I want to use wood as much as possible. We, if we had a chipper shredder, these could have been, you know, all the chips could have been from our house too. But um, the, the wood chips were sourced from a local park. But all the wood was from a tree I cut down this winter. So I can already hear people typing at, uh, about the motor oil. And so I, I thought I would address that. Um, you're right, to anyone who's typing about using motor oil in your garden is not a good idea. Um, I guess that's up for debate. Uh, I used motor oil for a couple reasons. Um, first of all, I used, I used the motor oil just on the top surface. So the tops of them are, are um, uh, treated with that. The bottoms were all treated with linseed oil. So anything that's gonna be in contact with the ground directly, you know, that, that might be rotting into the ground and stuff like that, uh, that's all I use linseed oil for that. I could have used motor oil on both sides, but I chose not to in this case. Um, uh, but the motor oil is not, not soluble, so the water is not going to wash it away or anything like that. Um, it's going to sink into the grain in this, uh, in this wood probably about a good half inch to an inch, and it's pretty much locked in there uh, for the life of, this, of these, these discs or these pieces of wood. Um, water is going to roll off of it, as you know, with oil and water, um, and it shouldn't you know, wash it into the ground or anything like that. So I could go into a whole discussion, maybe, maybe we'll do a whole other video talk about uh, recycling. But uh, there's, there's an argument to be had about recycling. So if you think about the, the saying, it's reduce, reuse, and recycle. And there's a reason that recycling is last. Recycling oil, recycling paper, recycling anything, plastics, whatever glass, it takes a huge amount of energy. Um, sorting stuff, you know, our time, sending it to the road, having it collected, having it processed, all the, the, the fuel, uh, fossil fuels that are being burned um, to do that, to, to heat and, and sort and separate and wash, and then mixing that with natural materials and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I, again, I could go into a whole other discussion about recycling, but you want to always find a use for things if you have it here already. And, I, you know, as a kid growing up working on farms, we used to use, use motor oil for everything. Now, I'm not using synthetic oil. I'm using regular motor oil. Um, synthetic oil has other additives and components and detergent oils and all kinds of stuff like that. But just regular motor oil is um, pretty safe to use in, for treating wood. Uh, we used to paint fence posts with it and fencing and barns and decking and wagons and all kinds of stuff with, with used motor oil. It's really a petroleum product just like varnishes and paints and um, all kinds of other things. Uh, other than linseed oil, there's not a whole lot of natural you know, alternatives. So um, using the motor oil I think is going to be just fine here. I'm not worried about it leaching into the garden or anything like that. So, uh, But enough on the motor oil. <laughs> uh, uh, you'll probably see me use that for other things around the farm as well, and I'll take you guys along for that. But uh, real happy with how the, the path turned out. Um, it's real solid. Um, I, each of the discs is about three or four inches uh, tall. Um, I was having some issues with my chainsaw. I need to get a new sharpener for it, and so I was cutting uh, you know, curves and stuff like that. And on the bigger discs here, I wasn't matching up my lines and stuff, so I ended up going with, this, with these smaller discs except for the two on the end. But uh, everything, everything turned out really good. So it was pretty easy. There was really no cost involved in this besides the linseed oil. And, you know, that's up for debate on whether we had to use that or not. But uh, uh, this should be a real solid little garden path. So I've already planted up against the house peas and strawberries and things like that that will grow over here. And then we're going to keep on moving out with our garden. So if you're interested in following along, we've got, uh, we've got a lot to garden out here. This is a pretty big space. So uh, I'd love to have you guys follow along. So hit that subscribe button, thumbs up on the video. I'd love to hear your comments uh, down below. I'm sure there will be a few. So uh, go ahead and leave that stuff down below. I'd love to hear it. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.